Developing right now, Providence St. Vincent Hospital is investigating how many people might have been exposed to tuberculosis. Yeah, they found out that one of their caregivers tested positive for the disease. Our Eileen Park is live now with more on this health alert. Eileen? Jennifer, their best guess at this point is that less than 100 colleagues were exposed. But as for patients, they still don't know yet. They're still working on that number. Now, tuberculosis is a potentially serious infectious disease that affects a person's lungs. That said, it is rare to get it in its active form. And we're told by experts that it's also a slow moving disease where you normally need close, prolonged face time to get infected. The potential risk of exposure to our patients and fellow caregivers is something that we take very seriously. We're currently in the process of notifying colleagues and patients who had direct contact with this caregiver. So just to put it in perspective, in 2017, Multnomah County had about 22 people out of a population of 800,000 with active TB. Washington County had 19 people out of a population of almost 600,000 people. So all things considered, it's a pretty rare disease. Now, for privacy reasons, Providence St. Vincent won't reveal who the person is and what their role was at the hospital. They say the infected person first started experiencing symptoms, got tested, and when it turned out to be positive, that person alerted the hospital. Now, the hospital is also contacting anyone who's come into contact with this person, and so in the next couple of weeks, they will be contacting people. And so if you've recently been at this hospital, you might get a phone call. And if you do, the hospital is offering free testing. Back to you. Thanks, Eileen. Coming up next, two men trapped when their boat